Hi guys, Squall here, and uh, today I thought we'd go and have a look at this pack here, the Miami West Palm Beach scenario. Uh, it comes with quite a few uh, scenarios in career mode, but these two caught my eye, this part one and part two. The reason they caught my eye is because it says it's a full stopping passenger service. So I thought to myself, well, if you do that, although it's relatively easy, if I do that one, then we'll get to hear, see the whole scenery, because I quite like, you know, Miami's an area, I'm thinking it'll be quite a nice place to go and visit on the train so maybe you know with the stopping service we'll get to see some more scenery so i'll do part one and then i should do part two both of them are an hour long this one says the first part starts at mag sorry mangonia park not magnolia mangonia park stopping at all stations en route to cypress creek and then part two says we begin where we left off in the second part of the early morning run uh, the passengers are aboard so you can head straight away to the next stop at fort lauderdale fort lauderdale broward so, let's start off with part one. It's foggy, it's 6.49 a.m. and it's spring. Engineer, you are running the 6.50 stopping service today from Magonia Park, heading to Miami International Airport. You are stopping at all these stops in part one. Here we are in Magonia Park. Guess we're going to have to track one. Open the doors. Open the passenger doors. Yeah, let's do that. Let's pan out a little bit. Open those doors. Nice, double-decker carriages. Look at this. Of course, not many people here. It's quite early in the morning. Well, that guy seems to be um, very much into the whole Miami thing with his Miami shirts and stuff. Right, we've got main lights on. That's actually a day running light, isn't it? It's a bit misty, but I guess it's morning, so we'll leave it. Let's get back in the cab here. Have a look around. We've got a dynamic brake. Actually, this, this looks a lot like that freight train I drove up the Canadian Mountain Pass. It's a very similar design. Get the reverser, release the brakes. What a freight train is that? And we are off. Wow, this engine is super quiet. Really? How can it be so quiet? Get up to speed. Try and not cause wheel slip. I think Miami has a lot of level crossings, so there's going to be plenty of those to watch out for. In fact, we should see some W signs along here. Uh, I think this is one already. Let's have a look. Yeah. So we have a bell and a whistle. Supposed to run the bell as you as you travel across the whole thing, I think. And where it says double, uh, you blow long, then short, then too long. I think that's the thing for Miami. Could be wrong. Oh, look at that sign! There's like a sign with a broken flickering light on it. Did you see that? The thing is, I want to see the scenery, but I'm possibly going to miss the W whistle sign. So if I fly like this. Maybe I can catch both of them. There is that one. Yeah, there you go, W. Perfect, hang on. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm about to lose points. Busting speed limits. Nothing but oranges on the right. Did you see the sign with the broken light? Nothing but oranges. Let's keep that speed under control. Yeah, perhaps if I just sit here, then we'll be able to see some of the scenery. And I won't miss these signs like that. Is that one? That was pointing the other way, I think. And hopefully I won't miss any red stops, assuming there are. Actually, given this is an easy scenario, I imagine there won't be any red red signs on the way. I think it'll be a fairly efficient run. Next stop is West Palm Beach, arrive 6.56, leave 6.57. Uh, our current ETA is 6.57, so we are... I missed that one. Already late. Hang on, let's get back in the cab. Wow, it's just eerily quiet in here. How does this even work? Get that speed down. West Palm Beach track. 
incoming. I don't know what the braking distance of this particular train is, so this first stop is going to be a learning experience. Kill the speed a little bit too much there, but that's fine. I did see the whistle. There's the 45 limit there. Yellow warning sign. Level crossing. Actually, I might stick my head out the window. Maybe that's the thing to do. Get to look around like this. <laughs> I wonder if it, like, will get sunny and dry as the sun comes up. What's that? A fuel station? I really hope that at some point... They'll put, uh, they'll put more pedestrians in this thing. Make it look more lived in. I realise that each person that you put in here is another object to draw and another animation to do. But uh, I kind of feel like they're just too limited at the moment. Let's get the brakes on. That Doppler effect. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. No whistle. We're not allowed to whistle. Whistle declined. Oh, come on. I released the brakes. And I've lost brake. There we go. I should probably turn my bell off. Hey, is that building on the right responsible for the lack of whistle here? What is that? What is that? Seriously? Is that like just some some villas? Some of these posh houses? I'm just curious as to why you can't blow the whistle here. Okay, coming in at the speed limit more or less. Hello, good morning. Welcome Miami. This is my train. Uh-huh, it's mine. Squirrels. Squirrels train. 6.55. Actually, we're on time. That's good. That's a good thing. That gives me a chance to uh, get the braking distance right on this thing. Let's try a gentle brake. I'm going to use most of the length of this track. Because I don't know how far... There we are. We're in distance. That's fine. If we stop anywhere here, it's good. It's all good. Look at that. Due here, 6.56. We arrive, 6.55. Four seconds early and the doors are open. GG! Not that anybody's getting off or on. Can we get inside the... Ooh. Oh, this is... Look at this. This is upstairs. Fantastic. If only we could, like, swing the camera in there. I can see somebody's feet, look. <laughs> somebody's sat in there. This is West Palm Beach. So the next stop is a bit further this time. Lake, what's that say? Lake Worth Track 1, 708. Let's have a look around while we've got time to kill. I like the uh, style. I like the um, kind of orange slate roofs. They're very, um, you see that a lot in Spain. In, in, in hot countries, actually, like Spain and stuff. and Greece, you tend to see that kind of orangey tile. But yeah, it's quite nice uh, for a train station. It's pretty well styled. School buses here as well. Which kind of makes sense given the time of day. I wonder if they disappear if you arrive here later on in the day when there's no kind of school run. I wonder if it's that clever. Palm trees. Well, you don't get those in England tra stations, that's for sure. Do we have to blow a whistle? I've got a feeling there's a level crossing down there somewhere. That road doesn't cross. Okay, let's get ready to, to rumble here. All aboard! Time this bonus, 112 points. Oh, what is that? F oh, I suppose it could be. Each segment split into 100. Yeah, 1,000 points. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's another train. Awesome. Passenger train. Same one as this. Hey, 
Hey, why is his train like ridiculously long and mine's dumpy? Look, one, two, three, four, five carriages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine carriages and two, two locos. I've been ripped off. <laughs> why don't I get all that stuff? School bus. 45 over 40. Hmm. Wow, that's a colourful building. Look at that. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I just sl I lost 12 points then. And I just went into a 45 limit. Oh, Warcraft. Look at this. It's pretty nice. Driving alongside, is this a canal or what? Do they do canals in Miami? Hey, this is some good scenery. Six lane highways, that's like something out of city skylines. That just took off, that implies there's going to be an airport. Is that the airport? Is that a terminal? I'm trying to work out where all the different buildings are. You've got these kind of industrial warehouse things. You've got whatever this is, maybe office space, I'm not sure. And then you had those, um, did you see them back there? Those domed buildings. Okay, was that a KFC? That was a burger, wasn't it? That was blatantly a burger. Oh, it's got a taxi on the back. There it is. Speed up. There's the airport. If we're lucky, we might catch one taking off. Nah, we're not so lucky. Dang it! That'd have been so cool. Oh, it's one coming in, look. Wow, this guy, look at this. Where is it? This? Oh, he did see, look, he just took off and missed it. I was too busy looking at the jetty. Wondering where the heck he, he goes in that thing, in those boats. It's not bad scenery, actually. Nothing but oranges. We should be approaching, yeah, two miles. Let's get a little bit more speed. ETA 707. Due to arrive 708, so we're good. No whistle sign. Let's get on this side. So we are ahead of schedule, so it's good. Yeah, a road like that would have traffic on it 24-7, I'm pretty certain. Otherwise, it feels like a ghost town. It feels like you're driving through nothing. Yeah, traffic spot. Another broken tile right there. All that section. The cars just literally spawn in and disappear. Dunk. <laughs> dunk, dunk. Truck spawns in. <laughs> Here we go. A 60 limit all the way in, so we're going to go in a lot faster this time. I'm going to throttle down now. I've gone and overdone it with the brakes. That's okay. It's better than underdoing it, I guess. <laughs> Missing the stop completely. Lake Worth. Wow, she stood very, very pouty. Look at that. What was that? That's like... Oh, God. Flipping out the end of the... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? That station's about two yards long. I was too busy looking at Posh Spice posing. Wow. The train, look at that. If I'd have stopped perfectly, the, the cars would literally just fit. That's not so bad. I lost a few points for an emergency brake, but I'll be honest with you, I didn't expect that. I was expecting this nice long train station just like the last one.
I should probably turn the bell off. <laughs> Look at this caravan park, like right next to this uh, train station. I take it that's not a holiday park. If it is, I feel sorry for those people. That's not the best location for your holiday home. I really hope it's not. I hope it's just people living. Timeless bonus. Loose brakes. All aboard. Let's go. Takes a little while for the RPMs to build up. Go for 60 miles an hour this time. Going up to 70, 79? 79 miles per hour. That's a bit specific. Another Big Mac. I love the way they just, they don't put Big Mac. They just show you a picture of a Big Mac and then put Big next to it. <laughs> How to get around advertising. Fantastic. Swallow it up. I want to keep getting my time as bonus. Good morning! They're not very chatty. Into the mist. This is what you call a straight piece of track. <laughs> hundred percent and it's taking so long for this engine to get these carriages up to speed it might be quiet I mean it's only like five cars surely this thing's rated for that let's double check and then see if we got left the brakes on or something stupid oh hello fancy meeting you here <laughs> now that's weird Hanging outside of the carriage and seeing yourself inside the train. Now that's not something I've done before. Dude, you've got a bit of a shaky arm thing going on there. Smile, buddy, smile. You're driving a train. I take it all aback about the seat, you know. Because if you look at the back there, this, this seat is actually way forward. That guy's so small, his head. You should jack the seat up, pal. Because, really, you can't see over that thing properly. You're like a 12-year-old in the dad's car, you know? You're kind of peeking up. Look, look at me. I'm up here. You're, like, down here. Wow, this thing must have a top speed of about 80. Because I was 100% power then. And... It never, you know, it struggled to get past 75. Right, this is going to be interesting. Trying to judge the braking. I'm going to try it from, what, 0.7 of a mile? 43% brake coming down from maximum speed. I may overshoot this. Okay, I need to get the brakes on now. I'm pretty certain I should be stopping about now. This looks like a short platform. This this got to go horribly wrong. Oh no. Stop! I feel like Fred Flintstone now, just feet out the bottom of the car, just backpedaling. Stop the train! <laughs> it's not bad effort, actually. Considering. Actually, that's almost professional. Look at that! Oh my god! That is actually bang on. Look at it! Wow. Well, that was pure skill, of course. I mean, I was, you know, there's never any doubt. Oh. Oh, look at that. Come on, you could open that one. I had it all covered. I bet you guys were thinking I wouldn't do it. I knew it. It's fine. All under control. Ah, it's just a shame that, you know, I didn't get the last door. Lose points for that amateur effort. I wish they 
flipping hide the mouse in this game. Summoner's bonus. Let's go. Bye bye, Boynton Beach. Say that again, you missed the train. Probably got an excuse for being late now for school. Okay, without the wheel slip, I'm just going to try and YOLO it as much as possible on the power. I tell you what, you're not going to see many slopes around here. It seems to be just flat. Everywhere is like a pool table. And the lines are just straight. It's hilarious. It's almost like somebody just custom designed it with city skylines. I mean, is, is Miami really like this? It's just amazing. I'm used to England. I mean, England is just... Well, if you know anything about England, if you see a straight piece of track, that's amazing. <laughs> you can't see it before it starts curving some more or bending or twisting or branching. This, this doesn't happen that often. I mean, it does happen, don't get me wrong, but... Lots of track are just not like this at all. Same with the roads. Still nothing but oranges. Oranges and Big Macs. Is that all I eat around here? What a diet. Imagine that. Every McDonald's you walk into. Uh, can I have a Big Mac meal, please? Certainly, sir. Uh, one Big Mac and nothing but oranges. To go. I'm actually approaching that 75 limit, but the limit's about to get raised, but I don't think I'm going to hit it on time, so I'm going to throttle down. To avoid having to brake if possible. What's this green sign? I actually don't know that one. Oh, I see. It's the back of the yellow one. Fine. Speed limit's back up to 79, but it's about to drop to 70, so I think I'll just cruise. ETA 723, which is on time at the moment. Yeah, you can see the sun catching these wall, these, these um, lamp posts now. See it? It's definitely got that morning feel. If you think about what it was like when we set out, and it was all misty and grey. Didn't see that sound at all. And now it's just got that warm, humid feel. I suspect the humidity levels in Miami are pretty much always high. That's too quiet, isn't it? Like you can hear the engine from here. What's it like trackside? Look at that, it's like stealth train. You can't hear it. It's like the audio only works from behind. Doesn't work from in front of the train. Sorry about that, a bit late with the tooting. We was just um, looking at the scenery and stuff and Wondering why you can't hear the train from the front. <laughs> Another train here. Okay, let's stop braking. I think I'm starting to get a feel for uh, the braking capabilities of this thing. Time would you in 70? Oh, 723, it's fine. Actually, almost on time, like spot on time. Okay, let's see if I can do a better job than last time. That's not bad. I don't think the back carriage is on again. That is so hard to, to get that smack on. The only way you're going to do that is if you... Hang on a minute. Why can't I open the door? What, are you serious? It's not letting me open the door. It classes that as not being the... Wow. <laughs> it's going, nope, you've got to do better than that, squirrel.
There you go. Blimey. Bit harsh. And st oh no, that that doesn't open, and yet that is definitely on the platform. Maybe that one just never opens then. Yeah, it wouldn't let me get away with it this time though. I actually think the the acoustics of the train, I actually think that's a bug, you know. I don't believe it's that quite in real life. Bye bye, Delray Beach. We're throttling up. Next up, Bokaranton. Bokaraton? Bokaraton? How do you say that? Bokaraton? I always get this seat with nobody in it. I always feel like that's a cop-out, you know? Don't put passengers in the seat. I like the styling of the buildings. I wonder when they're making like a map like this. I bet they go and Google some houses in Miami and buildings in Miami and then just, you know, use them as design ideas. I mean, if you think about it these days, it's unbelievable. If you want to design a map from a different country, you can just go online and find all the resources you need. You can find topograph topographical maps. You can get things like super accurate. You can go Google Maps and get overhead satellite views of everything. You can just go online and find pictures of all the, the houses and the vehicles that they have. If you was doing this, if you was doing this like 20, just, just over 20 years ago, when the internet was just getting started, the only way you could have done that, you'd have to go down the library. You really would. You'd have to go down the library and just find the right books with the right stuff that you want in it. Check the books out, go home, write it all down. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, you know, the truth. That's the world we live in now. We take it all for granted and yet everything's just at your fingertips. You don't even need to leave your bedroom and you can find out all you need to know about another country enough to make a scenery pack for it. That's the true story of the uh, internet revolution. Sometimes I think it's just nice to sort of cast your mind back to what things were like. In a quarter of a century we've just gone from disconnected to fully connected in a very scary way. Powerful, but scary. Bokoranton coming up! Sorry, ETA 729, GTR 729, okay, so I need to get this one. I need to get the braking nailed on this one. So on the last one, I actually had a good time and then I had to shunt it forward. I can't afford to do that on this. A curved bit of track, this is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> For Miami, this is amazing. I'm used to driving down straight line arrows. Okay, let's, let's start getting some brakes on now, I think. If we can enter the... Enter the start of the platform at like, I don't know, 25, 30 miles per hour. I think that's where we want to be. Emergency brake? Minus one point. I didn't think I'd actually done that, but hey. Okay, we're at, look at this, 30 miles per hour. Trying to judge the brakes. Now we need to go full car length. To go full car length past this thing. Now I've done it again, look. Cruising. 
screws and up there maybe. Uh oh. I've done it the other way this time, I've overshot. Now the back doors are open. <laughs> now people at the back can get off. Well that's only fair, isn't it? <laughs> we let people We let people these guys here, they don't want to get off anyway, they sat upstairs. That's brilliant. I actually did the opposite. Overshot. Undershot it last time, overshot it this time. I'll turn the stupid bell off. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh my god. Well, it's good that these guys have finally got off the train because um, they've probably been stuck for the last few stops. I do that to people in OMSI as well, bus simulator. I miss out stops, so they have, they have to get off at the next station, at uh, next stop, and then walk back. Another airplane. They should express, like in OMSI, they should express their disgust when you do that. They should totally have a go at you. You come up to the front of the bus and start going, You missed my stop! What kind of bus driver are you? Full power all the way then. I got as close to 79 miles per hour as I can. Hey look, there's another airport. What? Two airports? Really? Now you see, I've got to go and look that up now. Because... That's some pretty big commercial aircraft there as well. That's two hefty airports. Although this one, I can't see anything taking off. Now if you notice, this bit here... The kind of style of it's changed. It's not residential and industrial. It's, it's definitely more office and commercial. What are they doing? Why they stop there? That is ridiculous. How can that possibly be? What are they waiting for? <laughs> I gotta love AI sometimes. In fact, AI can be the funniest thing in games. It really can. Eurotruck's got funny AI. OMSI's got funny AI. Project Cars and Assetto Corsa has got annoying AI. And this, well, let's just say that what the vehicles do sometimes is pretty funny. Oh god, about to speed. Really? I've just about hit 79, look at that. Whoa! Fall down, I'm about to speed. Oh my god, did you see that it went to 79.9? 79.9 point one more and it would have broken the speed limit i actually didn't think this thing could get up to 80. I, I think we may have gone down a very 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 slight gradient no whistle it said fair enough is it because it's deerfield beach and we're near some deers and stuff good morning Shh, don't wake the deers you're in deerfield beach pal I wonder that was by the side of the road then. Honestly, driving like this, with your head out the window, this is the way, this is the way that train drivers should do it. <laughs> like a dog with a head out the window. Uh, you know what? I've just realised I should probably start braking now. Giving them a half a mile away and I'm doing 70 miles per hour. I hope this is not a short platform. Otherwise I could be in big trouble. Good morning, solitary car. Solitary silver car. Looks like it's made out of mercury or something. Track one. Okay, this is a nice long platform. That's a good thing. I think anywhere around here will do, won't it? Hey, that guy just drove across... What? The barrier's still down. That poor silver car is still stopped there and two cars just spawned. Look at that. What the heck is that all about? <laughs> what the heck is this? It's just... Oh my god. Oh my god, honestly. If the game... Right, seriously. Either the map authors 
have made a mistake. Or the game doesn't allow the map authors to do this properly. But that needs to be sorted. That's just ridiculous. That should not be happening. 94 points. I must have been late. Yeah, depart 7.36. I think I must have arrived slightly late or something. Let's get a wiggle on. To make up some lost time. Powered up, Captain. Walk factor 7. Insert Scotty voice. She can't take any more, Captain, and all that kind of thing. Which apparently you never said. I mean, I'm not a Star Trek buff, but apparently Scotty never said that. Achievement. Palm, palm tree miles. The heck? 0.1% gradient. Look at this. We're in Miami Hills. <laughs> This is this is equivalent. This is a uh, you know serious dent in the road. This is in Miami. Everybody residents complain about the slope. They're like, "Are you kidding me? I put things down in my garden and it just rolls away." It's so hilly here. <laughs> All right, one point two miles. I'm gonna have to throttle back shortly. Now, I'm going to assume this is a short track because, well, it's safer that way. Now, we're back in residential. Look at this. People who live in the swamps. Look at that. Wow. They can get to their house on a boat. Yeah, that was way too early on the braking. Way too early. In fact, that's going to mess up my times. Okay, note to self, 0.7 miles is way too far. Arrive 7.39. Doe! Doe! See, once you get late, it's just so hard to get it back. Now I'm going to be two minutes late. Mm. This is going to spiral out of control now. Unless they've built slack into the scenario, there's just no way I can get this time back. Oh my god, this is a short track. Oh no! This is... <laughs> Uh, I suggest you go to the back of the platform or something because, uh, yeah, I may have overshot a little bit. Not too much. But yeah, don't mind me. I'm just going to park in the road. <laughs> Let everybody get off the train. Did it? Was that me or did some cars just despawn? I guess this is normal, to be honest, because let's face it, if you want this carriage to be on the platform properly... then this loco is going to have to sit on the road. Because I don't think... There's not enough room, though. Penalty! No! I didn't get my bonus! That penalty is really bad. So I missed out on 112 points and got docked 34. That's like a double... Double whammy. Emergency speeds, here we go. It's all my own fault, it's because I'm not braking accurate enough. The problem is now is I'll be looking to scrape bronze. Because there's no way I'm going to get here for 747. I should have left here at 740, I'm already two minutes late. So like I say, unless there's slack in this, then... If you're late for one platform, you're late for all of them. Right, if I time this right, I can back off the throttle and cruise through the line at 60. Yeah, look, ETA's a minute late. Luckily, it's the terminal, so... Well, the last stop, anyway. If I had another ten stops, I'd be in big trouble in my scenario right now. Look at that speed. I'm trying to max out. It's like 61 is the absolute... 60.9 is the limit that I can go through this thing on. Oh, look at that. It's just siding there. <laughs> In before the late horn again. 60. Crosses the line at 59.1. Three miles to Cypress Creek. 
speed up, see if I can recover a bit of time. I've got to be so careful here. ETA 747, sorry, ETA 748. Mm. Yeah, I think we're done. There's no way I can recover that. There's nobody here. You've got six lane, three lane roads. And there's like four cars on it. It's the opposite of Britain. Where we have a two lane road and five million cars trying to go down it. You've got it so lucky here in Miami. You've got the capacity for the future. Six lane roads and nobody on them. Cypress Creek, here we come. Okay, half a mile. Let's try and time this better. Swallow down. No whistle sign. Let's get some brakes on. ETA is coming down. Look at that, 747.32. Because I'm braking late. As long as I can stop this thing without flying past the platform. I should hopefully recover my time. Oh, just give me 90, give me 90% braking, not 96 point something. That's not a bad effort, actually. That's pretty close. That is pretty close to perfect. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that! On his like, like he creams it on the last platform. He absolutely nails it. What a star! <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I'll get the four points for that last one. I got there on time. All passengers off. I think that completes scenario one. I'm hoping for a bronze star, a blonde, a, blonde, a bronze star, a blonde star, a bronze star. Is what I'm hoping for, but I think gold's out, and maybe get a silver, but I think it's bronze. Your fuel levels are being checked, so you will have a few minutes break before your departure. Part one is complete. Well, I hope when I do part two, it starts me off exactly how I left it. Let's see what I got. Yes, I got the silver. <laughs> GG. Nice. This I tell you know what I lost my points here. That right there. Oh, that's okay. It gave me 94. Ah, that's fine. I thought it would give me... Yeah, that's fine. All it did was deduct 34 instead of giving me... That's so confusing. Instead of showing you, like, it says green 112 points. Instead of saying green, you only got 94, it goes red, you got minus 34. Or yellow, I think. So yeah, it just confused things a little bit. A few emergency brakes, a few speeding, but nothing too, uh, too bad, I don't think. Unlock the achievement as well. And a silver. Nice. Okay, that is the end of part one. Uh, in the next part, I shall do this one here, which is part two of that scenario, beginning where we just left off and continuing to, what is it, Fort Lauderdale, Broward? Please give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Take care, guys, and happy training.